guys, and welcome to the last stop on the Memory Dex hop. At least I think so, unless somebody else was added. Uh, you can see all the details about uh, the group that is sponsoring this. It's run by LV Handcrafted in the description box below, as well as there are links to all the other folks in case you came in here sort of mid-hop. Uh, and what says hop more than bunnies? So we're definitely going to use these. If you caught the Crafty Friends live stream, I, friends, wow, words, uh, live stream I was on, I almost used these bunnies, but then went a slightly different direction because I found these little, I had forgotten that I had picked up these uh, peeps dies, which also work for like really cute Easter cards, especially um, if you punch them out of like non-standard bunny colors, you know, you can do sort of, uh, you know, pinks and blues and other Easter colors, but anyway... Let me just bring a little more light on the situation here. There we go. That makes it easier to see what we're doing. So what is a memory dex card? I don't know if other people have hit this, but it's basically like a Rolex card or a Rolodex card, um, except that they will sometimes be displayed in like a card catalog style box um, so that the height doesn't matter, but the width should always be four inches or less. I got this intro set from Scrappy Boy. You see there's like a really short one and then sort of this mid-range one, which is the one I picked, and then there's a really tall one. Um, and I figured the middle range one would be short enough where if you put it on an actual spinny Rolodex, um, it would still work. But basically I wanted to do a more simple approach to this because at least lately we've seen, at least I've seen on the market, a lot of really complicated dies, which are really cool if you want a project, but, like, what if you treated this more like just a fun little Easter card? So that's what we're doing. Um, I want to start out by doing just an itty bit of ink blending, just to sort of create a sky on this. Um, I'm using Nina 100 pound, or 110 cover weight, uh, cardstock for this. You see the die puts a nice little st stitch detail, but basically I just want to, you know, mostly cover the outside just to sort of highlight that detail a little bit, but also to kind of break up the white a little bit. I'm planning to color any of the bunny images with colored pencil probably. Um, I was thinking I would do two, but I think this may, like one may be enough here. But anyway, like I like how that looks, and we'll just go down... Do a little, we have a little leftover ink, so we can just do the same thing, just to make sure all that stitch detail is highlighted. Um, by not really grounding this with, like, an actual, like, ground, I think it will make it look a little bit floaty, so we could always go over this with, like, blue or something, or uh, green or something, if we want to do more of a actual foundation. And, you know... So these are one option. I like I like this carrot bunny a lot. We are going to probably need to make the bunny a non a little non-white because we blended this. So I think what I'll do to make this like an even easier card is let me just reach and grab an ephemera pack quick because I had picked up the I forget what this one's actually called. Spring something. Spring delight. Spellbinders pack, and it comes with some, like, really cute stuff, and, you know, 10 million pieces of ephemera, just like all the Spellbinders. In fact, I think, that isn't even ephemera. Where did you go, ephemera pack? I know you were here because you were massive. Uh, here we go. So I think when they made, when made the reformat, they've actually put even more things in. But there's a lot of cute things here. So I think we'll do more of a spring collage kind of idea. And I like bloom and smile as a sentiment. So we don't even have to stamp anything today. So let's do this as like sort of just a very quick and easy card. Because that's the name of the kit. So it should be quick and easy. I also have uh, neutral... I think this is Lenko... Yeah, Lenko Neutral pH Adhesive, which is really good for gluing paper to paper. But let's first get our sentiment down and then figure out what we want to do. I know I've been, like, in the mood to color bunnies since forever, so I think we will be doing another... 
project like that, but I think Bloom and Smile is a very cute sentiment. And, I, and it, it, like this is a really good size for this particular card. And we have a lot of florals, because why wouldn't we? And... Like, I, I was, like, looking at my Christmas organization of ephemera, and I was like, we just have so many florals. But there's some really cute colors here. So, let's see. We have something big. I don't really need something big. I want... These are all pretty tall. Something like this would be cute. I like this if you overhang it a little. Let's see if we can... Find something that would go with it, except maybe over here, because there we go. Bloom and smile. I don't really want to outdo the sentiment. There's some other nice things. The teacup. A teacup with a bunny. That would be cute. Because the bunny is indeed smiling. This is actually a throwback to... They have a... There's actually a... There was a die set with this kit that I didn't wind up picking up, but it had a bunny in a teacup. And so that's there. Do something like that. I, lo I really like that. And it's like... It's a pretty... Really, I need to stop saying quick and easy, but... Like, it's just a very... You want to do a little flower on top? Maybe a little flower on top. Why shouldn't the bunny have a flower on its head, really? Um, but as many thoughts as I have on the kit reformat, like, I do think the ephemera is still very much top-notch. So if you're someone who likes collage crafting with ephemera, like, like Spellbinders generally is just great, because... I really like some of the color palettes they've been working with. So, let's get our bunny down first. And the really nice thing about this glue is it, uh, unlike, unlike like a strong glue, this stuff binds to the paper almost immediately. And what I basically want to do is make sure that... He is more or less level, or she. They make bunnies in both variants. And then if you have a if you have a squeegee of some sort, this one's actually an old old one from Chalkator, but I like it because it's silicone and super flexible, so you're not gonna like mess up your ephemera at all. Anyway, uh, then we need to kind of this one's gonna be the trickiest piece I think because we really don't want to obscure the holes or the sentiment. So it's kind of like this. Oops. But it's probably the most delicate. As you can see, sort of, they're kind of sides with the longer petals and sides without them. So you kind of want to just... And the line tech is nice in that you can kind of move it around for a little while. And then once it's down, it's down. And uh, the, th the thing about strong glue I always ran into is really that uh, it can take a while to dry. So if you're wanting to do a bunch of layers, like it tends to make the projects more time-consuming. And sometimes you just are really in the mood to like Get a project done right away. I like this. I actually am, am really liking the, this sort of idea. Not that a book on top of a flower makes sense, but but I do like that it's smiling and it's blooms. Now, I was thinking of putting this here to kind of balance it, but it's going to kind of hang off, and I don't know. I, I like the idea. I guess yeah, it's a little much, I think. So I think I'm going to leave this guy like this. I really like the... I actually really like this Bloom and Smile sentiment. Like, like the art style on this kid is very me in that it is quite cute. But uh, this is pretty much good to go. We've got a little bit of foiling on the pad that says Good Times. And a very happy bunny and 
for some background floral. So I think this is great. And this one is a very, very straightforward. I did pick up a few other memory decks options. So we may be looking at going in and doing a more complicated card later. Um, I have some that can do windows and do uh, also more like figural stuff. Because I definitely picked up uh, a camera and also a film strip e kind of thing. So anyway, thanks for watching. And if you haven't checked out all the other Hop participants, you should definitely go and do that and like and subscribe to their channels because they all make great content. Thanks much and have a great one.